Um, let's go to my second guy here. My second breakout player. I picked Devin Vassell. So I am a big, big Devin Vassell fan. I have been since pre-draft. Uh, he's just, he's developed though into something a little bit different than what I thought he would be. Like I thought he'd be more traditional three and D. Uh, like I didn't really love him as a ball handler. I thought he had like kind of a high dribble at Florida state. He's really improved though. Like he has, he, the, the wingspan number on him is not super long. Like I think it's like a six foot nine ish wingspan, but because he plays with such bend, he gets the ball low to the ground. And because of that, he's really been able to, I think, make some leaps as like an actual playmaker with the ball in his hands from time to time. And he can keep the ball a little bit tighter as a ball handler now than, you know, some of these other wings that, you know, play a little bit more upright and struggle to kind of get by guys. And that bend also allows him to functionally kind of get the most out of his athleticism as a driver. Look, like I'm not sitting here saying Devin Vassell is like a 25 point per game scorer. I'm not saying he is like uh, some incredible all-star level piece. But I think we see Devin Vassell average something like 16, 17 points a game, largely because of roll. Shoots 37, 38% from three. He's a really smart defender who gets his arms into passing lanes and just kind of makes things happen. I think he has a really killer year. And I think that we're looking at him and Keldon Johnson kind of as like the clear wing combo of the future in San Antonio and one that maybe makes their future look a little bit brighter than, you know, what this season's record will look like. Yeah, I, I love the mention of, of Vassell. And it's it's funny, too, because even like last year, like he's almost the guy that I feel like was there. I think it was if if Pop had been yeah. willing to give him a little bit more leeway, I think he's there. Um, I love what you mentioned about the bend, because I think that's what always stands out to me the most about him. Like, obviously, his screen navigation um, on defense is impeccable. But I think like like you're mentioning, it's the screen navigation as a ball handler that's really impressive, too. Like, it's obviously not the same player, but he kind of has that same like I can't remember which somebody explained it to me as like frogginess and like talking about Bradley Beal. <laughs> and I think Devin yeah, Vassell yeah. has that kind of same ability to just like be incredibly like limmy and, uh, and flexible laterally. And a lot of guys just have trouble keeping up with that because it's not very common. Um, I love that shout. Yeah. I think a lot's going to depend on how much more he can get to the rim. Um, Cause a lot, like yeah. he's got a big penchant for pull up twos. And I think like, what he's shown as a shooter already, like I think he's a lot better than the numbers indicate, and that's saying a lot. I mean, he shot 36% on good volume last year, but um, I think just adding in more and more of that, I think, again, like even last year, we saw more and more tempo and pacing in the half court. Um, I really like him as, again, not somebody who's going to be like an all-around great playmaker, but somebody who probably averages four or five assists per game at his peak because he's just good at continuing to move the ball. You know, he – really good especially even with like Jakob Pertl last year I think it's hard for anybody to not find good rhythm with Jakob Pertl because he's such a good screener um but he was speaking really of best good. screeners in the NBA right yeah, when we talk he's about right about Carter. there yeah <laughs> and like I think I mean yeah I I'm I'm a believer with Vassal I think the biggest thing I want to see from him this year is probably just even more physicality like I I'm interested to yeah. see what his uh ability was to to incredible, not not incredibly, to, to meaningfully add um, add like core strength and just weight in general. Because I think even on defense, like you can get bullied at the point of attack at times, um, and he can get smothered at the rim a little bit just because of contact. And I think if he can improve on that, like that's going to be absolutely huge. You got yelled at earlier this week by a lot of Spurs fans because yeah. the number one thing that you're interested in this year, I think you said something like what do the Spurs look like? Or like, yeah. who are My the exact Spurs? Quote was, what the right? fuck are the San Antonio Spurs? Yeah. And I meant that in a good way. Like I, like I yeah. look up and down this roster. I love what they have assembled. I have no idea how it all fits together. I have no idea what the hierarchy is. Like that's, what's so interesting to me too. Cause like last year it was clear. It's like, okay, Definitely. this is DeJounte Murray's team. Um, this year, like, I, are we going to get a massive primo breakout? I probably wouldn't bank on that. I like Primo, but again, he's just so, so raw. But um, like, again, like I would definitely bet on the Vassell thing happening. Like we already saw what Kelvin did last year, but he's going to be out for a little bit now. Um, 
Yeah. And then you just have like, I love Malachi Branham. I'm not biased just because I live 20 minutes away from St. Vincent St. Mary's, but like, um, yeah, I, I mean, like again, just up and like Blake Wesley, Blake Wesley is going to play a, a, probably more at the G league. I think Malachi is probably going to play more at the higher. At, yeah. Like that, that's the thing that is weird with the Spurs Yeah, because they tend to bring their young guys along so slowly, Exactly. And it's, but it's like, you know, this year, be, you know, right. Like, is it because they have always had vets and Pop would prefer to play vets and, like, would prefer the continuity that that allows for? Or is it a circumstance where they just, like, didn't have the need to? And now that they have the need to potentially play their most talented players, is that what happens? I have no fucking idea. Like, I have no idea what this is going to look like this year. Uh, You could tell me that Branham plays, you know, four minutes, plays 400 minutes this year, or you could tell me he plays... 1700 minutes this year because things open up for him and he has a real opportunity i have no idea what to expect and that makes this fun right like you just kind of think about the fact so like keldon has a shoulder injury it doesn't seem that serious from what i gather right Mm -hmm. like it seems like he's gonna miss maybe a little bit of the start of the year right like am i missing something there no i don't think you're missing anything i think he just didn't he just like separated or something uh and he had to get it checked out um but yeah i I mean he's not supposed to miss too much time so we should be fine Um, yeah like i I think we're gonna be fine there and like i think that you know maybe we get like more romeo langford maybe than you and i would prefer uh you know maybe you get a little bit more uh honestly like i'm not real enthused about like rookie blake wesley experience uh in the nba i think even i mean even branham too because like branham's tough because like i think he's gonna have like a and I, I love Malachi, but like his defense was was pretty rough last really year. Really bad, really um, really bad. And it, he's about gonna, it I mean, even watching it, I mean, it was it was very much like watching young Demar Derozan in some ways. Uh, yeah. He's like he's gonna cook somebody in the mid range, and then he's gonna get his ass beat on the perimeter on the other end. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there there's there's just so much here, but also like I need to know how it all fits together because I have no idea right now. And like somebody in the comments mentioned Sohan, and like. I like Jeremy Sohan a lot. I was like pretty surprised the Spurs picked him because to me he's much more. Oh like, really? Yeah, like I mean I think he makes sense, but especially with Chip England leaving too, I was like, I was a little bit surprised. Um, just given you know like this is a guy who I think makes a lot less sense to me if you can't make his shot figure if you can't figure out a shot, which is why I ended up being like more back into the lottery uh, with him. But he's just really good at basketball, and the defense is really fun. It's like, I don't know. I just look at this team, and there's so many guys who are um, weird off guards and, like, kind of smaller forwards, and they just – I have no idea how it's all going to fit together, and I want to see it so bad. And I think I'm probably going to watch more Spurs game than just just about anybody this year. Yeah, like, it's funny. Like, I really strongly considered Trey Jones for this because I was like, okay, they need – like an adult and someone who will organize them and like i at least know trey will organize them and you know make them uh like look he can only do so much defensively being like a small point of attack defender but like he'll at least give effort and he'll make it a little bit harder for teams to get in and out of sets at the top like i don't know like if trey jones averaged you know 12 points seven assists and was like a good defender that wouldn't surprise me at all um, I think he probably really establishes himself as like a real strong NBA player this year. I really like Trey Jones, but I always have. I had him as like a top 20 guy pre-draft. Um, I don't know. Like it's it, this is a weird team. And then there's like the Jakob Pertle trade potential hanging over it. Do they keep Doug McDermott? Do they keep, you know, Josh Richards? Like, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what this team is going to look like. And, and I think that your question, what the fuck are the Spurs? aptly put but the thing that i feel most confident in is that kelvin johnson when he gets back will probably average 20 points a game Mm -hmm. and devin vassell is going to be like one of their starting wings and be a very high level uh breakout guy this year just because he's going to get opportunities we're going to get to see him play at a high level 